Good morning mga kapatid. Welcome sa again our daily morning devotion. I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay nandun pa rin yung kagalakan, kapayapaan sa ating puso habang tayo ay nag-aral ng salita ng Panginoon. So before we start this day, let's uh, open this devotion with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we bless your name, we glorify your name on high, O God. Truly indeed that you are an awesome God, worthy of praise, worthy of honor. Sa oras na ito, Ama, nandito po kami, nagpapakumbaba, humihingi ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming mga kasalanan sa isip, salita at sa gawa. We thank you, Father, for your promise in 1 John 1.9 If we confess our sins, you are always just and faithful to forgive us and purify us from all our unrighteousness. So today, Father, we are here uh, with open hearts, open mind, so that we'll be able to receive your word with joy, with peace in our hearts, that in every instruction, you will give us the strength, the hope, and life to move on forward to a higher level of our spiritual journey here on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you, Father, for this beautiful day. Continue to bless my brothers and sisters who are joining this devotion. Continue to bless them, their families, their relationship, their marriage lives, their children, and everything that uh, concerned with their family life. Oh, God, we thank you. For your loving kindness, your goodness, and faithfulness in every life. To you alone we give our highest praise, highest honor, and thanksgiving. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and Amen. So today, mga brothers and sisters, our scripture reading will be found on 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7. It says here, <clears throat> Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud. Or rude, it does not demand its own way. It's not irritable, and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, it never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstances. Pagbasahin naman natin sa uh, Tagalog version, sa unang kurinto, Kabanata 13, versikulo 4 hanggang 7. Ang pag-ibig ay mapaghinuhod at magandang loob. Ang pag-ibig ay hindi na naghili. Ang pag-ibig ay hindi nagmamapuri. Hindi mapagpalalo. Hindi nag-uugaling mahalay. Hindi hinaharap ang kanyang sarili. Hindi nayayamot. Hindi inalumana ang masama. Hindi nag-aalala sa kalikuan kundi nagagalak sa katotohanan. Lahat ay binabata, lahat ay pinaniniwalaan, lahat ay inaasahan, lahat ay tinitiis. Mga kapatid, napakaganda po ang salita ng Panginoon tungkol sa pag-ibig. Pag-ibig na nagmumula sa Panginoon. Dahil din natin may bibigay ang tunay na pag-ibig sa kapwa natin, sa pamilya natin, sa asawa natin, sa mga anak natin, sa mga kaibigan natin, at sa lahat ng mga tao, kung wala yung pag-ibig ni Kristo sa ating puso. Sa napakahalaga po na pag-aralan po natin at isa buhay ang tunay na pag-ibig na nagbumula sa ating Panginoon. At ang titulo ng ating devotion ay Godly Love. Ito yung sinasabing Agape Love o yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Sinabi ni Rick Warren, gusto ko pong i-share yung sinabi niya tungkol sa kanyang family. When my kids were growing up, I determined that the, member, the number one thing I wanted them to know about our family was not that we were good or smart or whatever. I wanted them to know that they were loved and that we had fun together. So napakahalaga po na ipadama natin yung tunay na pag-ibig sa ating mga anak, sa ating asawa, sa lahat-lahat ng mga tao na naka-connect sa ating buhay. At sinabi niya, you need to keep this in mind. People don't remember what you say, but they will remember how you make them feel. So napakahalaga po na hindi lang po sa salita, kundi samahan natin ng gawa. Kasi kung salita lamang at hindi natin sinasamahan ng gawa, ay parang wala rin kahulugan. 
Kaya napaka, napakahalaga rin po na ang ating salita, ang ating gawa ay magkasama. Hindi yun magkakahiwalay. Dahil tayo ang tinitignan ng mga tao. We are the living Bible, kumbaga, na isinasabuhay natin ang salita ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Tayo ang salamin na tinitignan nila kung paano tayo mamuhay dito sa mundong ibabaw. At sinabi pa niya, Awesome families teach their kids that they are not the center of the universe. They teach their kids that God made them and shaped them for a mission. They model dedication, service, generosity, and prayer. So napakaganda po na hukubugin natin ang ating mga anak sa uh, godly wisdom, godly stature, at God's favor and man. Napakaganda po yung mensahe kahapon ni uh, last Monday si uh, Sister Myla tungkol sa mga youth and singles. At dito rin po, it unders po ng ating mga kabataan, ang ating mga anak, lalong-lalo na yung mga singles. Kaya dito natin matutuhanan, ano ba yung tunay na pag-ibig na nanggagaling sa Panginoon. So, God desires for every family that we are built in His love, united in His gracious love, despite indifferences, conflicts, or misunderstanding. It's normal to every family that we sometimes argue with our partners or our spouse. We are being disappointed to our children's behavior and even experience rejection sometimes. But above all these things, or storms of life, we are being transformed by God according to His purpose and plan in our lives. Because of His unconditional love, we are being united as one family with a common goal. So, ano yung common goal ng isang pamilya? Ito ay mamuhay sila, magkaisa sa panalangin, magkaisa sa espiritu, at Binubuklod sila ng pag-ibig o pagmamahal na nanggagaling sa Diyos. Kasi kung nandun yung motivation natin, bawat galaw natin, bawat kills natin, bawat iniisip natin, bawat salita natin, kapag ito inuunan natin na may pagmamahal, may pag-ibig, nandoon yung pagkakaisa. There will be always a harmonious relationship with our family. Nandun yung kagalakan. Kapayapaan. Di ba napakaganda po kapag ang pamilya ay nag-aayos ang lahat, sama-sama ang bawat isa, walang alitan, walang conflict, at nandun pa rin yung pagmamahal na hindi mo matatawaran, hindi mo mabayaran ng kahit anong kayamanan dito sa mundo. So ayun po, as we are being reminded in His Word that love is patient and kind, we need to have that gentle spirit towards our spouse, our partners, to our children. As parents, we also exercise selfless love because dito, we can lay down our lives for the welfare of our children. Hindi natin inaalinta na yung pagod, hindi natin inaalinta na yung uh, lahat-lahat ng kahirapan natin bilang isang ama, isang ina, kundi iniisip natin dito, dahil ang bunga dito, yung pagmamahal natin sa ating mga anak. Di po ba? Hindi natin makikita lang natin sila na masaya, na bibigyan natin sila ng magandang buhay, magandang uh, hinaharap na sa biyaya ng Panginoon, nandun yung kakalakad sa ating puso. Hindi natin mararamdaman yung pagod. Hindi natin nararamdaman yung hirap. Di po ba? So, bilang isang magulang, kailangan natin na lagyan lagi ang ating kilos, ang pag-ibig na nagmumula sa Panginoon. Love never keeps no record of wrong. Meaning, we can forgive our spouse when she or he has offended us, he hurt our feelings, or betrayed us. Kaya nga sinasabi, hindi ka na maglalag, hindi mo na dapat ilagay sa puso mo. Kung nasaktan ka, you need to forgive. You need to release it. Kasi lahat naman tayo ay makasalanan. Iba-iba lang sitwasyon, but then, ang gusto ng Panginoon, we will always have 
that spirit of forgiveness so that God will also forgive us. Hayaan natin na ang Diyos ang kikilo sa kanila. Huwag natin pangunahan ng Panginoon. Huwag nating awayin yung mga tao na nakasakit sa atin. Hayaan natin that the Lord will fight for us. Because the battle is not us. It's for the Lord. Kaya, ayun po mga kapatid, huwag tayong magkimkim ng galit sa ating mga puso kasi ito yung hadlang sa ating mga panalangin na hindi tinutugon ng paginoon na ayon sa kanyang kalaoban. And love never gives up, never loses hope, is always hopeful and endures to every circumstances. So, it's normal. We, we are all imperfect. We don't have a perfect family, but we have a perfect God in our lives. Huwag nating hayaan ang ating pananampalataya ay nakawin ng kaaway, kundi lalo tayong masigasig na manampalataya at maniwala at magkaroon lagi ng pag-asa at magkaroon ng katsyagahan sa pag-aantay kung kailan babaguhin ng ating paginoon ang mga tao na gusto nating pinalangin na magkaroon din sila ng maganda, malalim na relasyon sa ating Panginoon. Na may halong pagmamahal, pagmamahal at pag-ibig nagmumula sa ating Panginoon. When adversity or problems pops up in the family, we will should never give up praying for them. Never lose our faith in God that He is a miracle-working God. Let us always stay hopeful that we will surmount every obstacles in life through His gracious love and through these trials, challenges, circumstances in our lives, we will continue to persevere and remain faithful to God as He gradually fulfill His perfect plan and purpose in our lives for His greater glory and honor. So, ngayon mga kapatid, Let us pray to the Lord. Kung mayroon kayong prayer concerns ngayon, uh, let, samahan nyo ako sa ating panalangin dahil alam ko ang Diyos ay nandyan, nandyan lagi sa atin. Hindi tayo iwanan. Hindi tayo pabuyaan. God always hear our prayers. At uh, idulog din natin ang mother-in-law ni Sister Myla. We pray for, his, uh, for her divine healing touch from the Lord. And even for Sister uh, Flora Rabokyao, we also continue to pray for her divine healing touch too that comes from the Lord. We know that uh, uh, our Lord is the Jehovah Rapa. He is our divine healer as it said in Isaiah 53 verse 5 sa pamamagitan ng kanyang lahatay at sugat sa katawan tayo ay pinagaling na. So, we claim that promise in the lives of our uh, sisters in Christ. We do believe by faith that God is a miracle-working God. He is our divine healer in every lives, in every sicknesses that uh, we are suffering from our physical body. So, let us pray. Father God in heaven, we continue to worship and glorify your most holy name. Truly indeed, that you are an awesome God worthy of praise and honor. We thank you so much for your amazing love, your amazing grace that sustains us every day. We lift unto your hands every family represented by my brothers and sisters, that you will mold our character, behavior, and attitude according to your perfect will. We believe by faith that you will do great and mighty things in our lives for your honor and glory. We live also in prayer every couple's parents, single parent, that they may find joy, peace, hope, and strength from your glorious presence as you fulfill your promises upon our lives. Please give us the spiritual guidance and help to take care of our children and bringing them up with godly love that will shape their character as they grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We also lift up all the children, especially those who are being rejected, maltreated, or sexually abused, that they will find joy, peace, and hope from you alone, O God. Please restore their lives as they will find their divine purpose, as you refine them to be the person you want them to become according to your perfect plan upon their lives. We also pray for spouses who are being addicted to drugs, cigarettes, or alcohols, or being involved with extramarital sex. 
please break those chains of imprisonment as you release them from their vices and wrongdoings and replace it with the fruit of your Holy Spirit. As you've said in Galatians 5, 22 to 23, as you transform their lives from glory to glory. Even spouses who have been physically or verbally abused, please we lift them up unto your hands, O God, that they will continue to trust your ways as you help them to overcome their pains and sufferings. And on the other hand, may they continue to be a praying wife or a praying husband as they will endure with perseverance to pray without ceasing as they wait patiently for your divine restoration upon their lives. We also lift up unto you all the working parents that they will acknowledge that you are the ultimate source of everything we need. May they find a balanced life to have a quality time together with their family, especially to you, O Lord. We pray that every family will be rebuilt, restored, and revived as we put into practice your word of truth in 1 Corinthians 30 verse 4 to 7. Let our hearts be motiva motivated with your love as we continue to be blessed and be a blessing to others for your honor and glory. We thank you so much for your divine protection, provisions, and healing to the mother-in-law of Sister Myla, Sister uh, Flora Rebocchiao, and to all family members who are suffering right now from their physical pains, physical suffering, or sicknesses. May they come to know you more as they will have a quality relationship with you. Continue to heal them, Lord, and they will be healed. Save them, and they will be saved, for you are the one we praise. We thank you, Father, for your healing touch, because we do believe by faith that you are a miracle-working God upon our lives. Let our lives be a salt and light in this painful world, as we continue to shine for Jesus. We thank you for all you have done in our lives and still continually doing upon our lives for your honor and glory. With all these blessings of love, we are very grateful to give all to you the highest praises, adoration, and thanksgiving in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and Amen. So mga kapatid, let's continue praying for our families. Kung meron pa hindi ninyo uh, natakal or nakover dito sa ating prayer ngayon, you are free to chat in our CHCC page. Ano man yung mga prayer concerns ninyo, prayer request ninyo, so that we will be uh, together praying for you and your family. At bago tayo magwakas, gusto ko lang po yung share yung uh, Verse in 1 Corinthians, yung binasa natin kanina, 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13. Three things will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of them is love. Ito yung pagmamahal na nagmumula sa Panginoon. Let's continue loving each other, especially those who are unlovables. Let's continue to put in our hearts that uh, agape love, that godly love that God had already given to us. Diba? Sabi niya, He is the author of love. He first loved us. Kaya sinabi doon sa John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. So magandang umaga muli mga kapatid. God bless you all. We love you with the love of the Lord. Bye and God bless.